Okay, let's get one thing straight right from the start. This is not like anything anybody's ever seen before. Certainly not the mainstream market. But would you believe Intel developed this? Intel, who are obviously famous for developing chips, they apparently have a health division that I wasn't even aware of until recently. I don't know how long they, that's been around. But they've been collaborating with many assistive technology vendors as well as the um, community, as well as various communities for people who are blind and various communities for people with other disabilities to develop what you see before you. This is the Intel Reader. This is, in layman's terms, it's a portable OCR reading system. Um, now, a lot of you may think, well, that looks like a portable MP3 player or maybe one of the earlier creative juke hard drive players, uh, jukebox hard drive players. This can play MP3s, but remember, that's a secondary thought. What this can do is, you see this little um, circular bit here? That's a camera. The idea is that you hold, you have a piece of paper in front of you or a book. You hold the, uh, the reader at nose level, which is face level, then, you see this here? That may be a little hard to see. That little blue rim there at the top, that's actually a button. That is the shooting button. You push that button, and it will focus in on the material, take a picture, and immediately begin reading to you. There's also a capture station that you can get with it, um, and for many mainstream uh, technology uh, enthusiasts out there that may not be familiar with adaptive technology, I guess I could equate it to the arm and lighting, the arm and top light of an overhead projector. And for us in the adaptive technology industry, I could equate it to an arm-based CCTV magnifier, where the camera sits on a rotating arm because that's pretty much how this works, is this, you push a button on this briefcase, essentially, and it unfolds to have enough space to have a full-on textbook out there, kind of like a CCTV reading tray. And then there's a little box up at the top that is attached to a pole. You put the Intel reader in this little compartment here, and it's nice and padded, and it protects the reader. And then what you do is you move in a set of um, connectors in the back of the in the back of the um, in the hold of the in the back of the holding area, the little compartment there. What that does is that allows you to control the reader from the base of the station. And what that means is I could go through, I could go and flip through books and you know snap, 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 and have my entire textbook there in front of me and I would have it visually as well as audibly. Now, um, what else can this do? This can be hooked up to a PC running Windows. Now, I have yet to determine whether or not it's Mac compatible, but for the, uh, for this, on the safe side, I'm gonna say I doubt it. Um, I, uh, I plan to contact Intel, but here's the drill. You hook it up to a PC, you can take a picture like you normally would, what that, what that can do then is it will present the audio and video files as separate files. And um, I've got it in my favorites. If you go to the video Intel Reader Plus Accessories, it's in my favorites. Um, you can um, see this in action. And what the person did, the representative from Intel in the video did, is he actually took a uh, ballot. He took a ballot, took a picture of it, and um, this was hooked up to the computer. And he was able to take the page, blow it up, and I was told, I don't think I saw this in action, but I was told that you can actually highlight the text, cut and paste it into a Word document, Hello, easy note-taking city. You know, for a college student, this is, you know, I was hoping I could see this with a, magnifi with a magnifier option. 
you know, this, I like this. I like this a lot. Now, is it right for me? I don't even know. I've only recently, you know, it's only been out for a few months. It's absolutely brand new technology. Um, but, you know, how this would compare to a portable magnifier, I'm not sure. It is certainly a lot more expensive. In total, if I were to get the Capture Station plus the Intel Reader, estimated total costs minus tax would be $2,400. The Intel Reader alone is $1,495, and the Capture Station, I believe, is another $850 or $900. So this is not cheap, but is it worth it? Mm, I'm trying to determine that. So... You know, take a look at that video. I may put a link to it in the description. In fact, I will. I'll put a link to it in the description. Look at the video. Tell me what you guys think. But Intel and adaptive technology, even if I don't get this, because, you know, this is not what I originally had in mind, um, even if I don't get this, I still think it's just a... This is a breakthrough. This is fantastic. I love it. Um, give me your thoughts on it. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. In oh, and in case anybody's wondering, if you want to get um, reselling information, you go to humanware.com slash products. The Intel Reader is listed under both blindness and low vision because it'll help both because it'll have you can have nice large text as well as audio feedback at the same time, which I think having a multi-century approach to education because there's a version for this. There's a version for this for educators as well. So, you know, look into it. I'm certainly, I'm certainly going to. Whether I get it remains to be seen. Um, but even if I don't, again, I just, I like the idea. This would be a truly, truly, uh, I think it would be a great tool for students. And you're not losing out on the visual ability to read because, again, um, you can have it, you can look at the screen and read the words, you know, or you can have it visual and audible at the same time. The one thing it cannot do is it cannot hook up to a Braille display at this point, which I think is a bit of a shame because that kind of leads um, students with uh, total blindness out of the out of the equation. Not, well, in terms of having the reader by itself, if you hook up the reader to a PC, um, I think you could probably hook up a Braille display to the PC, but then you'd end up having a middleman, and it wouldn't be near as convenient. So there's a workaround, but I'd like to be able to see where you could hook up the reader to a display directly. Because it does have a USB port down here on the bottom. It has two of them, mini and standard. So maybe something to think about for a firmware update. Um, anyway, what do you think? I, I like this. I like it a lot. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. Insults against me will get you blocked. And have a nice day.